Hey y'all, welcome to Bubba's Smoking Hog Barbecue. This is Bubba speaking. Um, just first, want to thank you all for viewing my first ever YouTube channel. I've reviewed quite a bit of videos from a lot of popular channels, a lot of good channels. How to Barbecue Right, Malcolm Reed, Smoky Ribs Barbecue, Russ Jones, uh, also Phil and Florence. Uh, have all been huge staples uh, with getting me started with uh, my first um, YouTube channel, um, Bubba's Smoking Hog Barbecue. So I want to show you all what we're doing today. We're doing some armadillo eggs. Okay. Um, so some the ingredients that we'll have here, as you can see in this bowl, I have a pound of uh, Jimmy Dean's uh, Italian sausage, also just some regular pork breakfast sausage. Um, then we have half a pound here of some ground chorizo um, from the University of Georgia meat market uh, that my wife Courtney got for me. Um, basically what we'll be doing, we'll be mixing the sausage up, making three inch little patties. Uh, we'll be cutting up some jalapenos. Um, basically quartering these jalapenos um, and once we quarter them uh, we'll then stuff them with uh, cream cheese, um, cheddar cheese, um, a little bit of sausage mixture, um, a, little bit a little bit of this was left over from our jalapeno poppers that we did yesterday. Um, and then finally once we assemble all of our armadillo eggs um, We'll be putting on a couple of different rubs here. First one is from uh, Pitmaster Harry Sue with a Slap Your Old Daddy Barbecue. This is his all-purpose championship rub. Very good stuff. Used on the poppers yesterday. Very good. Um, we'll also be utilizing a little bit too of the Plowboys um, Yardbird Barbecue Rub. Very good stuff here. Very good color with the um, extra paprika. So very good stuff. And then we'll show you all how to assemble, okay? All right, y'all, I'm gonna show you how to assemble one of these armadillo eggs, okay? So first things first, take your jalapeno. I've already done this, but you wanna cut it in half. See here? Um, you just wanna, you know, use a spoon. It's what I use just to get all the seeds, the ribs, everything out of the jalapeno, because that's where your heat is at. For those of you all that don't like a lot of spicy foods, um, me though, I can handle the spice pretty good, so I like to keep a few of them in there if you know what I mean. Um, so anyways, you take your half jalapeno, and then you're basically going to quarter it um, after you've um, cut it in half. So you're simply going to cut your jalapeno. You're going to take some of your mixture here. And just put you a good, nice, heaping helping in there and again this is some cream cheese cheddar cheese um, a little bit of sausage and um, some of the plowboys yardbird barbecue rub uh, that we mixed together yesterday so you get your jalapeno vessel here with your cream cheese mixture you're then going to take the uh, sausage mixture again the uh, jimmy dean's italian sausage and regular pork sausage and the chorizo and get you a nice Heaping handful, um, as you see here, and then you're just going to flatten it out. One tool I do use, though, is I wet my fingers in some ice cold water. A little trick I learned so the sausage doesn't stick to your hands. And then you're just going to flatten it out, like so. You're going to take your jalapeno with the cream cheese vessel, put it face down, with the cream cheese face down. And then you're going to simply just mold your sausage. Um, around the jalapeno and make an egg shape as you see here and you can do this however much you want to or not but in result you have an armadillo egg. I'm going to be uh, cooking the armadillo eggs um, on my Weber Smoky Mountain today this is Weber Smoky Mountain 18 and a half inch. So what I'm gonna do is just remove the uh, middle top portion of here. As you can see down here, I still got a little bit of charcoal unused from my uh, cook yesterday. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I filled up my charcoal chimney a little bit more than halfway, as you can see here. 
And I'm going to be using one of the uh, Weber uh, lighter cubes to start. These work really well um, with getting your charcoal started for your cooker. So I'm going to place it down here. Place my wax cube right below in the center. Get it lighted up. And set my chimney on top and wait for the uh, top layer of the coals to get a uh, gray look over them so they're nice and hot. Hey y'all, as you can see here, my coals are starting to get nice and hot on top, that gray look. Um, I'll be transferring my coals to the bottom layer of the Weber Smoky Mountain. And as you all can see, um, I've added uh, some small chunks of cherry wood um, from Western Barbecue Products. And um, I'll also be adding to the hot coals some Jack Daniels Whiskey Barrel Smoking Chips. Okay. Nice little handful here. Hey y'all. So our smokers come up to temp. As y'all can see over here. We're going to be going around 250 today. That was where we'll be smoking these armadillo eggs at. So come over here. We'll season these up again with uh, Harry Sue's all-purpose championship rub. Do a nice little coat on top around all sides of these armadillo eggs. All right, y'all, so our armadillo eggs are seasoned here, both sides with the Harry Sue's rub. Um, I do want to say, uh, just for food handling purposes, I have washed my hands today. Typically, I do wear um, some nitrile gloves, um, but I have ran out. But I will can, uh, highly consider and recommend um, whenever prepping your food, get you some nitrile gloves. Okay? So, I'm going to place these on the smoker. I do have some canola oil nonstick spray that I'm going to spray the grates with. As you can see over here, do have the water pan and the Weber Smoky Mountain. Again, gonna spray our bottom grate. Get our eggs here and place them on the bottom grate. The armadillo and eggs are done. I've been so smoking for about an hour and 30 room. minutes. <laughs> hey, Chris. What'd you think of those eggs? It's, it's a whole other world. Nice. <laughs> yeah. You really gotta try. So we have a family now, but it's doing